All right, hello, hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Levi, hello, how are you? Thanks for coming in. How's your Sunday been? We are back for more Dave the Diver. So I'm going to try and finish this game over the next like week and a half or so. I mean, it's not like a terribly long game, but I did, um, I did get, um, I not, I did get, what am I trying to say? Uh, it's not a terribly long game, but I did spend, that's the word I was looking for. I did spend a lot of time in chapter one, just learning all the mechanics and learning how to run my restaurant and kind of like setting up my restaurant. Um, so, but it's, it's pretty good now. Like, I mean, I've got four staff members, extra staff members. They basically run the restaurant themselves. Got a Discord notification and thought I'd click over off and on. I appreciate that. And thank you for checking the Discord. I know my Discord is not like terribly active. All right, so I don't, I think where we ended last time is, I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I needed to do anything before I went to the restaurant. Yeah. We could check the fish farm. Restful and ready for Monday. I didn't even game this weekend, but I'm ready. Nice. I'm glad you got a lot of rest. I know you've been working a lot lately. Why does it only let me do one of those? It doesn't only let me do one at a time. And I've got the fish farm. So that also allows me to not have to focus so much on fishing when I do the dives. Thank you for those commands. Of course, hopefully they were helpful. Oh, you know what? I forgot again to do another light command, but that's okay. I'll, I can add it. I can always add it. I don't catch it. I don't do a ton of night dives, so maybe we'll save that. I'm gonna expand that area. Okay, and then we're gonna save the money. I think I might do some more training for my set staff. Game is so casual and addicting, it seems. It is, it is very addicting. Like, I literally, like, I, I just like think about this game all day long, but I did the same thing with Moonlighter, which is the game that I, I've been talking about. But um, if you missed it, I'll just explain again. Moonlighter is a game very similar to this one where you run a shop in the daytime and then you go into these like caves at night and find stuff to sell in your shop in the daytime. And that game is also extremely addicting. But then, you know, towards the end, like I, uh, it got very repetitive and um, I kind of got, I was just kind of getting bored of it. 10% chance of increasing the number of plates. Um, but yeah, this, this game is definitely addicting at this point. 6.35 to train. 6.35 to train you. Okay, Pi and Raul haven't been trained in a while. Train Pi. In roll. I'll search for it on Steam right now. Um, Moonlighter. I let me check. I, I think it's on. I think it's on Steam. I have to check though because I haven't played that game in so long. Uh. Yes, it should be on Steam. Yeah, it's on Steam. 
this this game is fun. It is really fun. I just think that like if I'm if I play it too much, I'm gonna get bored of it. I mean, I guess that's true of anything, but I guess what I'm trying to say is like there is a point. I think there is going to be a point where it's going to become pretty boring. Luckily, we are not at that point. But I think as, as you get better and better with getting your restaurant basically to automate itself and then like increase the enhanced, you know, enhance the sushi, which will increase the prices. Then I think, I think, you know, eventually at that point, I think that it's gonna, I'm gonna be like, okay, let's just finish up the story and move on. But I also want to go back to playing Escape Simulator with some friends. And I don't really like to play more than one game at a time. I just, that's just the way I prefer to do stuff. So I want to make sure that I finish this game before I start back up with um, Escape Simulator. But Escape, Simula Escape Simulator is an awesome game. So definitely come out for that. Because I don't think, I think, you know, I think when I played Escape Simulator, I think you, a lot of you guys didn't know me then. I paused the video as I wishlisted it. I had to skip to current. Oh yeah, I didn't know it did that. Put the moray eel. Although I don't even know. I don't even know that I'll need that much sushi here because. Oops. How do I... No. What? So if I swap it, is it going to... Oh. See, okay, I don't think they should let you do that. So I just wanted to reduce the amount of fried egg jellyfish I had because that was an accident, but they don't let you go back, which is, I don't like that. Okay, we can make, okay, we can research this. We've got enough artisan flames. It played on Steam store page. Okay, okay, so it is on Steam. So I played it on Switch. So we could train, we could train people again. We could train Raul or Pi again. Actually, we could train, we could train one of the servers also. Spend the money on Kyoko. Oh, that was the wrong button. All right, let's open. Hack and slush? Moonlighter? Um, I guess it was sort of a hack and slash. I mean, when you went into the dun like the dungeons at night, you did have to do combat. I don't really remember what kind of gameplay it was. I guess it was sort of a, like a hack and slash, but it wasn't as like intense as a like a normal hack and slash.
Oh, I forgot. I forgot about that girl. Okay, uh, we have a special dish we're supposed to make for that girl, but I forgot about her. All right, that's okay. I'm gonna do it next time. Just making sure I put the right one on my list. Um, let me let me check the link and I'll put it in chat. All right, so if you click on that, Levi, that should be the right game. Not well, not. Should be. That is the right game. Yeah. That's the right game. So, it is really fun. And I did play it for a, a good amount of time. It's party day today. Prepare the right ingredients and make a fortune. Hey, Rebecca. Adam, hello. How are you? How's your weekend? Yep, I got the right one. Nice. Well, if you end up playing it, let me know what you think. Here, there's our special diving gloves made in our research facility. With these, you'll be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself and enter the water? Enter the ocean. Oh, oh okay. So they're not even going to let me... Okay, that's fine. They're not even going to let me check my phone or buy stuff from the shop or anything. Okay, so with these, I can pick up those sea urchins because there are a bunch of sea urchins that I wasn't able to pick up before because Dave was like, oh, I don't have the right gloves for this. Objects that can be picked up will show a button when you go near them. Press try grabbing that pile, the pile of rocks over there and dropping them. That's weak wood, so sh you should be able to break through. Use RT to grab a rock. Drop it on the rock over the boards. Oh, look at them adding new gameplay. Wow, very nice. Let's try going down. Maybe someday I've been playing a lot of Empyrean. What is that? It's going just watching the craziness in Cali. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my... I have some family. The current's strong. Grab that anchor so it won't sweep you away. Good, you can grab onto objects like that to anchor yourself. That'll come in handy in places with strong currents. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I have some family in the San Francisco area, but they said it shouldn't be that bad where they are. Oh, I see something shiny back there. Grab the stake in front of you and pull. I mean, why are there even these giant stakes in here? Oh, I see. You gotta play like a mini game. I guess it'd be too easy if they just let you pull it out. Awesome, since the path is open, grab the treasure up top before coming up. Silver bowl. Alright, see you in the boat. Okay, that that's nothing special. I collect silver bowls all the time. I'm in SoCal. Oh, really? Did you feel that earthquake or was further away, Levi? Yeah, like, what's it like in your area? Looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come in very handy. I heard that the sea people are waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling out the stake. Alright, so first, do you have a net? Ammo box? No, he doesn't have a net. Ha ha ha, the ocean has such vast mysteries. I think I'm a little drunk, okay. Oh, drunk posting on Instagram. Or not, in this is Cooksta, not Instagram. All right, so we're doing our morning dive and it is the day of the shark party. We have a ton of shark meat, so I think we should be okay. But just in case we can catch some extras, but even if we don't sell it all, I mean, there's, they're still gonna get some pretty good prices on a regular night. 
So because we have the fish farming, we don't have to pay too much attention to the fish up here. I need, I, okay, I do need some of these jellyfish because I accidentally put all of them on the menu, all of them that I had on the menu. But even if you do that by mistake, like they don't let you go back, which I don't think they should. I don't think they should have done that. I'm southwest of Big Bear and Corona, kinda on a hill, nobody here felt it by a family that did an OC in LA. Ah. Hey Rebecca, how are you doing tonight? Nola boy, hello. I'm doing good, how are you? How's your weekend been? Orange County, that's crazy. Just everything all at once today. Hope you and the family stay safe. Yes, I agree. Hopefully everybody stays safe. My dad is, like, really concerned about my sister because she lives in the San Francisco area and she just had a baby. Well, not just had a baby. He's- he's almost one. I mean, he's still, like, you know, he's still really young. But, you know, that's- that's my dad's grandkid, so he gets- he gets very concerned. So he's been, like, texting my sister about if she's been affected and stuff. Because, you know, it, it's okay if we die, but not the grandkids. Don't touch the grandkids. Ooh, big shark. Ah, oh, crap, I only have one bullet. Okay, I mean, the shark is is fairly slow. It's not like the marlin. So I should be able to dodge it and just use the harpoon. Okay, didn't dodge it that time. It's okay, I'm sure there's oxygen. Yeah, there's oxygen right there. Okay, we're gonna drone this one because it's a shark and we need that shark meat. If I was at work, I would have been different story. A diff it would have been a different story because it happened just on the other side of that mountain from San Bernardino. Oh boy. In now, I'm not making sense. We we know, got it. we got it. We got what you mean, Levi. We totally understand. When it comes to text communication, I feel like you know we. We start learning how to read between the lines. All right, so can't go down that way. I guess it's on the this side. So I don't I don't have a radar telling me where to go anymore. So I forgot exactly where to find them. Oh, th okay, there's the little icon of Suwam. this tiny fish I had a fight for that tiny little fish when I get like giant fish just right away all right this is gonna be some good meat too 
I think this is the shark. Yeah, long nose saw shark meme. What about all that fracking? That is a subject I am not too familiar familiar with. What is that thing? I don't know if I've gotten that before. Grilled truck meat. Okay, I have gotten that. Not very often, though. Oh, I'm already full. See, I always get distracted. I'm always like, okay, I can't pick up too much stuff because I have to... I have to go do this mission or whatever, but then I always pick up stuff. All right, I'm gonna have to... I have to drop some stuff. Mm. Not the shark meat. I did drop a couple of the jellyfish because we can put them in the fish tank to breed. Now we need a UV light. Okay, got one. So I feel like it's going to take me a lot longer to finish this game than most people. But just because I really did take my time in chapter one. But I think things are going to go a little more quicker now. I want to get through the story. And then I'm I'll be playing Escape Simulator with some friends after this, and I'll do a review video and some shorts and all that stuff. That's an opa? It looks like a sunfish. This is the first time I've seen one in person. Maybe I'll take a picture as a souvenir. An opa? It's an opa. Oh, that thing? X. Make sure we press the button, right button. Okay. No, where are you going? Come back. Oh. Well, oh. is it that thing? Capture two opas at once. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to do that. Nobody said to do that. Oh, I guess it tells me at the top left. Never mind, just kidding. I was just, uh, just testing you guys. There we go. Huh? Is that pile of rocks moving around? Um, yeah. Question mark? Oh, it's an octopus. Excuse me. Er, it's the octopus from last time. It sprang ink again. I won't let you get away this time. Just wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That octopus did do do that before. So I chased that octopus into a cave and then I got some sort of like octopus bracelet. The path is clear. Just wait, you octopus. That always causes quakes all over the country. 5.1 from what they said earlier is quite large. Oof. Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't let you get away with this. Ask Boncho for takoyaki. Oh, I love takoyaki. If you don't know what takoyaki is, it's like fried octopus balls. I love octopus. Oh, he, I mean, he left me something. Oh, I ran away again. It's definitely quick. 
But why do we want to kill him? I mean, he's so cute and he leaves me stuff. Hmm, it dropped something again. Hmm, it always leaves something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. That's what I said. He's always leaving stuff for us. Like, he gives us stuff. Yeah, I guess he sprays ink at us, but... He also, I mean, maybe it's just a game to him. I don't know. Rusty weapon charm. A mysterious weapon charm left behind by the octopus. Maybe something will cool... Maybe something cool will happen if it's attached to a gun. It seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Some of these missions are... they go pretty quick. Okay, so I guess I... I guess I killed all of those that I needed to. There's an eco-watcher mission to kill those jellyfish. I guess I killed all the ones I needed to. Oh, that's the stake I need to pull out. I am pro cataclysm though, so lol. Wait, what? Why? Lost too much oxygen, but we might as refill. Might it might as well refill. Is I was trying to say. Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you'd been eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the stake if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Bacon, hee hee. In our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meat, hee hee. Um, okay, wait a moment. Let me try and pull. To think the path to the village is blocked. Hurry up and do something. Get the path open already, human. Okay, so I see. So this is, this is kind of like a parody of the li Little Mermaid, where... You know, the Little Mermaid Ariel was, she was like a, you know, a good person. And then this is like a, also like a mermaid princess, but she's a spoiled brat. Out of the way, Dave. Move, bro. It was effective, but not enough. Hmm. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Um, there's no movable device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. Why not? Something to watch. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess I can't really argue with that. I guess we all need something interesting to talk about in our lives. Because, I mean, if I, if I weren't doing, like, if I weren't constantly doing new things, I wouldn't have anything to talk about. Like, how boring of a person would I be if I just, like, never had anything new to talk about? But now, like, I'm always playing a new game. I'm always... Always, like, doing something with modeling with my dog. Traveling. Going to try new restaurants and stuff. Hmm, there's nothing get that can be done on this side. I'll have to try going around back. Okay, so I guess this way. Well, there's a big shark in our way, but... I can use it for meat. Can you reach? Nope, you didn't reach. You should have re reached, but you didn't.
mega mouth shark. All right, yeah, I really can't carry anymore. Let's drop you. And drop these. We can get rid of the fragments, we can get those anytime. Actually, I think I'm gonna go back to the boat and do this in, in the afternoon dive because I'm carrying too much stuff. And hey, at least my tank will come in handy while the world is ending. <laughs> somehow, somehow we managed to get to the tank talk within like 10 minutes of you being here. But you know what? You're right. I totally agree. A tank would really come in handy. If there was ever a zombie apocalypse or some other world disaster, I can't see how having a tank would be a negative. Mega Mouth Shark Row. Oh, the fish eggs. I got some shark shark eggs. Nice. Octopus weapon charm. A mysterious weapon charm left behind by the octopus. Maybe something cool will happen if it's attached to a gun. Extra 15% of gun base damage added. Oh, I didn't even know they had those. I didn't even know they had weapon charms. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? Oh, an opa. Did you know the opa is warm-blooded? Oh, I think I've heard about it. Haha, <laughs> it's amazing that some fish species are warm-blooded. The ocean is full of mysteries. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. I did not know there were uh, warm-blooded fish either. And you know what? I, I for, What else I forgot to do? I was going to look up if um, there was any videos on Dave the Diver, like, like a marine biologist. I'm sure there has to be like some big marine biology channel where it's like real marine biologists react to Dave the Diver. Opa. Although it is a fish, it has the characteristics of a warm-blooded animal. It can maintain a body temperature of 4.8 degrees higher than its surroundings so it can survive in the deep and cold sea. I'm gonna look this up. Is this a real fish? It is a real fish. And it, it really, it looks like that. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if this game is like, is accurate. I'm gonna look for it right now. Dave the, Di Dave the Diver Marine Biologist reacts. Um, no, there, there isn't one. But my my stream came up when I searched Dave the Diver. <laughs> Maybe Dave the Diver accuracy. Maybe somebody did a video on that. No, huh? That would that would be a really good idea, a video, a really good video idea. So if there's anyone out there that's a marine biologist and likes to play games, you should do a video on if Dave the Diver is accurate with all these fish species and all the stuff they say about the ocean. 
Mega Mouth Shark. A deep sea shark measured at 5M. It will use its flux flexible skin to extend its mouth forward and open up, open it up to 1.3M across. Found at 200 to 4600M, it swells plankton with it, its extended mouth. Ooh, I got all the jellyfish here. So I have a, I, I guess these will always come up, the eco watcher missions. I guess you never run out of those. Okay, so, okay, this time I am not gonna focus on picking any fish up unless it's the shark. Cause I always get overloaded really quickly and then have to go back up to the surface, but I am not going to do this that. I'm not going to do it. I mean it this time. No, a few from college haven't talked to them in a while, though. Well, if you do happen to talk to them for whatever reason, you can just casually slip in there like, hey, you know, hey, bro, you got a YouTube channel? You ever play Dave the Diver? Yeah. Huh? I think it has something to say. I should record its cries and ask Ellie about it. How do I do that? One thing I do have to do, though, is get these annoying, aggressive fish. Okay, oh, I can finally pick these up. Yes, these diving gloves should be able to pick up sea urchins. Sea urchin sushi. Just the thought of it makes me drool. I don't know that I've ever had sea urchin, sea urchin sushi. Do I need red starfish? I don't remember. No, I don't. Okay, well, I can sell it. I can't check the Eco Watcher missions here. Uh, that is a shark, but I have a ton of that shark's meat, so I'm gonna avoid that one for now, because I think some other sharks are gonna show up. Okay, can't go this way. I always make this mistake. I always try to go down this way, but I think... Do I go... Is it this way? I don't remember. Or is it this way? I think it's this way. time for you. Could ask why those little fish are so GD aggressive. Right, exactly. Yeah, ask them if lionfish are really that aggressive. And also, like, why? They got, like, like, oh! Stupid, whatever that is. They got that, like, little dog syndrome. Little dog aggressive syndrome. I can understand some of the, these big fish being aggressive. But, I mean, these little fish, it's like... You're not... Not exactly at the top of the food chain, bro. No reason for you to be aggressive.
Okay, I need pink seashells. Don't need the red starfish. No, oh, I guess I'll keep the pickaxe. Poison harpoon. Don't I don't like those as much as the electric or shock harpoons, but it's better than a regular harpoon. A rubber chicken? It's not entirely clear whether this is suitable as a weapon, but try sing swinging it anyway. Just do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, another frilled shark. Right, you even lift, bro? Right! Alright, so actually I think I am gonna pick, pick up the pickaxe again because... Well, last time I was over here... There was something to mine. But I didn't know what it was. But I didn't have a pickaxe. How is that not hitting him? Oh, this is a shark meat takes up so much room. Ten of these? Overloaded. I didn't even try to pick up stuff. That's those sharks. I just went after the shark meat, but they take up so much weight. Mm. You can drop the starfish and the lionfish. I only killed them because they were attacking me. drop some of these jellyfish. I don't need all of these. I didn't mean to pick that one up. Mm. Hmm, is this a sea people building? The door is locked. Okay, I guess I didn't go the right way.
Looks like I'll be in Denver Tuesday, then back Thursday here to see the doctor. Seems like it's going to be a short week, like vacation. Ah, nice. Although I guess uh, seeing the doctor won't be too much fun. Okay, I definitely didn't go the right way. Okay, this is the thing I was talking about. Opal ore. I haven't had this before. Okay, you know what? So I did not manage to do my plan because the plan was to go straight down to where the other rocks were and figure that out, but I got overloaded again. So I think I'm going to have to do this the next day. But I also, I went the wrong way. And I still have my salvage drone. Okay, we'll do this the next day. Okay, but I try I tried. I tried to do the plan, but I went the wrong way, I guess. Oh, 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 tonight's the shark party though. Okay, so so the next day I don't even have to focus on getting sharks then. And I'm sure I'll have some leftover shark meat. See, I only got I only got jellyfish and shark meat and that filled up my whole cargo box. Oh, the storm is getting rowdy. Tonight the creature that gives a super rare boss card will most likely appear. Doesn't it excite you as a Marincoc collector? Not really. Oh, it Oh, if you go in the evening, you'll see the vortex that was created by the storm. You'll find the creature once you go inside the vortex. I would go if my diving skills were better. It's too bad. Then I wish you luck. Ho, ho, ho. What? I already... Okay, so I guess they have him do that anyway. Oh, the fireworks! They're sharks! Okay, let me check. Oh, I guess it's not the same. I thought I already did this with the Great White Shark, but I guess it's not the same. I need to go into the Whirlpool on a Storm Unite to get the Marincloth Super Rare card. That sounds dangerous. sea urchin. Spiny purple sea urchin. Used as a food ingredient. Okay, let's call Ellie. Hello, Nicole. Hello, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, what's going on? A humpback whale appeared in the blue hole. I think it might have something to say. I recorded its cries. Have a listen. Hmm. Sounds like it's looking for its offspring. Offspring? Yeah, they must be lost somewhere nearby. How about helping me? As you're going about it, if you hear a young one's cries, can you let me know? Well, hmm, well, I can't just ignore that. Okay, I'll take a look. Okay, so... Since it's the party today, I don't want to do a night dive and lose hours, so I'll just have to go... On, I'm sure. I'm sure there's going to be another stormy night.
Okay, we'll check the fish farm. I guess we'll buy the night zone. She sued sushi for an angle face palm. What? Okay, so we need to. This is where we need to put all the shark meat. All of the sharks itself are pretty good. Always get tips. Um, and pie. Mm, we'll train roll. I think we're gonna make a lot of money tonight, so we'll we need to make sure these guys are trained up. My ex. Your ex dude sushi? Let me see what this girl wants. White Travali Kombu Ochozuke. Okay. I don't even know if I know how to make that. Yeah, we made so much money. I warned them deer hunters. <laughs> what? Mission failed. Oh, you can fail them. The picture you took was well received. Oh, great to hear that. I hear my superiors want to assign me another task. Haha. <laughs> if I bring them a picture as nice as the previous ones, I have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture that will stand the test of time? What are you planning to take a picture of? Do you know about manta rays? Of course, they are one of the largest of their kind. I have seen one of those majestic creatures firsthand. Good, I am planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? All right, I am sold. But, but they are nocturnal, so we need to move at night. And we need some lure to attract them. 
Uh, Sir, I will prepare my equipment. Could you find a lure in the meantime? Um, I don't know what manta rays feed on. I'm sure you'll figure that out in no time. I will count on you then. Tell me when you've got the lure. Hmm, what would manta rays feed on? Ellie is the best when it comes to ecology. Should, should I give her a call? Wait, but couldn't we have another stormy night and I couldn't get the this card then? Like, I'm never going to be able to do this? Okay. Oh, how's it going? Do you know what manta rays feed on? Hmm, I know what manta rays eat. Oh, really? That's the same thing. They feed on plankton at night. Drop something that lures glowing plankton at night and they will come. And you need you will need five kelp to lure plankton. Huh? It's made of kelp? Not necessarily, but they will work too. Just bring me some. Oh, you got it. Now input this here. Woohoo. Got some eco points. Hey, this has nothing to do with the lure. Ah, uh, don't be disappointed yet. Ta-da, the lure capsule. Oh? Just drop this lure and you will lure all the plankton in the area. It's made of quality ingredients. Goodbye then. I got the lure now. I must tell Udo about it. Ah, oh, this must be the lure for manta rays. My mouth is watering. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, Anyways, I need to be prepared to take pictures at night. Yeah. I will call you when I'm ready, hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Alright, um... Revolver, etc. Beetle's rubber sole. What? Those... Words in... do not make any sense. Okay, now we are really going to try and complete this mission. So this time we can also ignore the sharks. I don't need any more shark meat. At least not at this time. Probably had a lot of leftover meat too. Maybe it's a sound? Yes, that's the sound of a baby humpback whale. Please take a look around. There must be a baby, baby whale nearby. Okay, sounds like it's coming from down here. Ah, the crying sound is coming from behind that pile of rocks. Hmm, the stones will need to be removed to enter. Okay, how do I remove that? Oh. This is not working now. Okay, there we go. I mean, why are there even stakes in these rocks in the first place? Like, how? Who? Okay, they've all been removed. Let's head inside. Like, who put these here? 
Once entering, an event will proceed that will end with returning to the boat. <sighs> really? <sighs> Alright, fine. Wow, there's a baby whale in here. In there. Hmm, it seems frightened. Should I go and comfort it? It's a giant baby. Aww. I think it's still a bit scared. Should I pet it a little? Isn't that what we just did? Come on, buddy, it's okay. I think it's less scared now. Let's keep on petting it. Are you Chinese? Yes. seems to have let its guard down. If we go to a brighter area, the mom should come, right? I need to be careful bringing it back up. So, protect the baby whale. Okay, so it's just gonna follow me, I guess. Ah, there are vicious barracuda in the way. I have to get rid of them for the baby whale to follow. Why she is an American? <laughs> well, I, I am American. Phew, everything looks safe now. Let's try taking the baby whale again. I am American. I am, I am also Chinese. Okay, I don't understand why I have to go back to the boat though. Like, why can't I just... Oh, this place is full of lionfish. Since the baby whale is timid, I'll have to get rid of them first. I surfed with dolphins once off of Tory Point. Nice. Hopefully this is enough. Let's try taking it to the surface of the sea again. But why can't I, like, once I drop it off, why do I have to go back to the boat? Why can't I just keep doing my dive? Oh, there's a white reef shark up there. Unless I defeat the shark, the baby whale is not going to follow me. There are a lot of vicious fish today. We're almost to the surface of the sea. Let's go up a bit more. Okay, let's put you in a drone. It was amazing. I bet. Oh, 
When I was in Hawaii at my hotel, they had a whole thing where they were like, oh, come surf with the dolphins. But you didn't really surf with them. I mean, you you just stood in like shallow water with them. Phew, that was dangerous. And then you could like go out into the deeper water and s like swim with them. But really like, because I watched people do it. They would just like grab onto their fin and they would swim a few feet and then come back. It looks a bit safer here. Wait a bit and mom should come. Oh boy. Ah, shark! What do I do? Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Between LA and San Diego. Nice. That sounds really cool. Wow, it's huge. It's a mother's love for her offspring. I guess all animals are the same. I feel like I should text my mom later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I mean, animals only care for their offspring until they're old enough and then they'll, they never see them again. Hmm, I see. I'm glad you took it to its mother. It wasn't easy getting it out. It got so easily frightened. Maybe it didn't like you, that's all. Anyways, don't spend all your time hunting. Try to be more helpful. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Wow. Poseidon. What's that? What's the Poseidon thing? Now we're gonna try again. We're gonna try to do the main mission again. Torrey Pines, California. Okay. I haven't heard of that place. But then again, I'm not really like, I have family in the San Francisco area, so I spend more time, like, when I visit California, that's where I'm, I'll usually be. I've never been to LA. I've been to San Diego, but I've never been to LA. But I don't, I don't really like spend time in Southern California. I mean, Mine Wars cringe? What? What is Mine Wars?
Wow, this fish is chasing me like a really long way. See, that's what you get. You could have gotten out alive. Could have gotten out alive too. An idiot. <laughs> okay. Okay. How do I get back to the sea people? See, that other shark knew what was good for him. I do need to... Okay, this is the right place. I do need a better melee weapon. Because we are a space force? What? Who is space force? A pickaxe? Okay. That is a better melee weapon. If we go this way. I guess I killed enough of those. I think I have to kill more of these ones, though. Hey, what? What are they? Are they self destruct? not strong enough. percent what is a three percent okay what are what are you talking about you're just like saying random words okay this is not the right way
Okay, was this the right way? I don't know. It's not giving me one of those icons for Suwam. Rhino... what? Rhino Chimera die? Okay. Okay, step in welfare. Gonna have to start making some more sense here. We're not gonna allow this in chat. This is where I came from. Ugh. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, no, it's not. This was the right way. All right. How am I? I'm, where do I go to that rock pile, though? We got this, ma'am. I hope so. I mean, I finally found where I was supposed to go, or at least the right direction. Just don't know how I'm supposed to get to the back of this rock pile, I guess this way? Cutter shark. So I like that I like the sniper, but doesn't carry many bullets. I don't think I need oxygen quite yet. I'm gonna save that. I mean, we've gotta go backtrack anyway. Ooh, oh, oh. Do I have to go up this way? I think so. That's tricky, yeah. I think this is the way. Pretty tricky. Kind of hard to see. Aha! There's a stake in the back. If I pull that out, the salty army. The salty army? Okay, that was actually 
pretty hard to find because that path was really dark and hard to see. Well, human, good, we have a path. You're more useful than you look. Wow. The village is very close. Come in through the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. Wait, I can leave now, can I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Ramo? Besides, I have a request for you, so I would like you to come to the village with us. The Sea People Village? Me? Yes, there's a reason I came all the way up to the Human Sea. I have a request. Oh, okay. Huh. So they wanted to contact us. Every blade of grass? What? What, what's every blade of grass? Dr. Bacon is gonna freak out. Ugh, I'm getting real spooky vibes. What is that? Looks like a giant eel. Something just moved past me. Human, go ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Ugh. Why does everybody always send Dave first? Dave is just everybody's pawn. I hope nothing has happened to the village. Please hurry, human. I want to take the lead, but I must protect Ramo. It's not because I'm afraid. Of course it isn't. Of course. You gotta protect Ramo. Okay, nothing over there. Fishing poles, milady. All right. Once entering an event that will proceed, an event will proceed that will end in it with returning to the boat. Okay. Well, that's what we came here for. Got to finish what we started. Deep sea cave. What is this? Why is their debris like this so deep. It is an eel. It's like a giant eel. Oh no, those vibrations again? Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? Oh my god. Honestly though, that thing looks badass. Wolf eel. What is that? There are wolf eels that big? Uh, I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. Okay, I need one of those. Oh my god. Oh, it looks really tough. Huh? The shining spot in its tail. It looks weaker than the rest of its body. Ah. Weak spot.
triple axle. Don't need a triple axle. I need need more ammo. That, wait, that didn't kill it, did it? That was not very much damage. Oh, how can a wolf eel be so big? Ahem, I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Wait, oh, I killed it. Okay, that was not a very difficult fight. Rooftop Koreans us? What? Haha, <laughs> you're stronger than I expected, human. Now, you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. Check the wolf eel. Wolf eel tail meat. I want to take the lead, but I must protect Ramo. It's not because I'm afraid. Of course it isn't. I hope nothing has happened to the village. Please hurry, human. Phew, we're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Ramo, you have a key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the... Just kidding, hee hee. I have it here in my bag. Phew, I thought you would ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. Ooh, we're gonna see the Sea People Village. I wonder why they use Sea People and not like mermaids or mermen or mer people. Can't wait to see what Dr. Bacon's gonna say about this. Ooh. Wow, so this is... Haha, <laughs> that's right. This is the Sea People village we live in. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. Wait. How how did a human get in here? Huh? Ramo and Suwam? Were you kidnapped by this human? So I kidnapped them and then brought them back to the village? Tenzin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Haha, <laughs> allow me. I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Do I get to go walk around the village? Or swim around, I should say? Tenzin's house. This is very Asian. I guess this was made by a Korean company. Oh my goodness, Ramo, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy, your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you'd brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, Ramo, I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, the ancient texts have all been lost and we need to figure out new methods again. We can't sim simply keep waiting, father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... Okay, so they... They hunted... Humans hunted sea people before. To the point where... They hid and everybody thought they were a myth. That's why Dr. Bacon... Was like, oh, well, I need to find proof of the existence of sea people. Another huge tremor. See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Um, hmm. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. 
Suwon said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, even, even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the village's trust, I'll consider your suggestion. Hmm, the village's trust. How does he go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? All right, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring. Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villager's requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? Chapter 3 Hmm, since you say you help my daughter, Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. The Sea People mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Oh, nice! Fast travel! Okay, that will help a lot, because I got so lost trying to find the rock pile. Wow, is such a thing possible? The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you'll be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. It'll help you find the villagers. Hmm, a teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. That is. Even we don't have teleportation yet. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. Aloha. Aloha. Oh, we got some fish eggs. I guess I'll install the Sea People mirror on the boat. He said I could go to the Sea People with this during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Oh no, look at the time. Bancho Sushi must have opened already. I should drop by and check if anything of note happened. So they opened without me? So then why do they need... Um, looks like I arrived too late. So then why, when I do a night dive, why do they only have two-thirds of their hours if they don't even need me to open? Mm -hmm. I should do a little cleanup. Mm -hmm. Huh, Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, oh, my work ended just now and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on despite the hour. Mm. Bancho seems to have gone home already. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. Hee uh, hee, even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Oh, come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Yes, back then I thought he was gone for good. Ooh. I want to hear this story. I wonder what it was about. Hee hee, well, it's nothing that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present just in case it's still a sore spot for Boncho. I'm thirsty. Can you first give me a, a glass of beer? Sigh, nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night like this as I drink. I'll tell you now a bit about Boncho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. We are surfers. Who is we? Because I am not a surfer. It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and service had been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? What is the manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome customer? Do you know the actress Lois Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. Lois Crawford. Hotel manager Lois Crawford. What? Wait, what, why am I picking one of these? Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations and many notable films were shot here. 
Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia used our services and we had very high standards for the services we provided. Oh, okay, so I think this is just finding out more about them, which the game did not really make that clear. The manager had spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs sought his services. Sounds like he made a pretty good living. Lois Crawford. She was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. I've heard that Lois Crawford can be very picky. But we are, have, we are a very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. Haha, <laughs> so there it is. No one, nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well. Just one thing, you haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is, she's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. There, that's a blurb she published in a travel ma magazine recently. Hmm, it appears to be a description of her travels, but that's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does not make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? Well, decline reservation, accept reservation. Uh, I mean, you're always going to get bad reviews. But I suppose we can't refuse the reservation if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. Obama made the mistake of shaking my hand. What? In that case, we'll have to think about how we'll serve her. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Um, our hotel strength strength our long history and tradition as well as our high quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of the of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We'll need clean rooms and services that match her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP. I mean, I don't think you can decline this. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I check on the state of the rooms. And about who will receive her, I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that could handle such a cr tricky customer except you with your long experience through with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. The dinner's at our hotel, Italian or French. Um, French. We have fantastic French food at our hotel. It's the pride and joy of Dugong Hotel with a Michelin starred head chef at the helm. But you came at the most inconvenient time. Our head chef is in France on a culinary research trip. The sous chef has taken his place for now and he cooks wonderfully as well. However, our upcoming customer is a very difficult one. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to... Okay, wait, why are we... Why are we doing this now? Japanese? Dugong's Hotel's Japanese food has never been a strong suit. We only served udon or simple donburi. We've been making exponential progress. However, after we hired Boncho, we've grown quite dramatically. Boncho is famous for his ability to reinterpret use of ingredients and his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Boncho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be all right? Hmm, Boncho's skill is indisputable. However, one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford, after all. I see, that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Boncho. I agree, best of luck, Yoshi. Back, welcome back, Francisco. Yo, Dave is slacking on the job. My sushi was not fresh. Ah, see, that is not Dave's fault though, Lil P. That would be Boncho, the sushi chef. However, I did hire two more sushi chefs. This is reminiscent of Phoenix Wright. Yeah, except the game didn't really make it clear that when I select things, I learn more things about them. Q, watch the water. What? Boncho, are you here? Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh my god, a young Boncho! Oh, you're here, that's good. 
I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Well, look all you want. It's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Banjo was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume in it and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in the resume were top tier, but Banjo never stayed in one place for long. He told me he moved on for each time after learning enough. That manager had a, the manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. How are you doing, Rebecca? I am doing good, Lil P. How are you? Thanks for coming in. How's your weekend been? He could always be found in the kitchen, busy with something, day in and day out. He, he researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Boncho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're rel relieved? What? 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 I mean, you, you're just like saying random words that don't make any sense. Boncho, would you, you be willing to try servicing a VIP? Servicing a VIP? That's right, we have an important guest who will increase our reputation, or rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. She's an actress that's infamously hard to please and also a gourmet reviewer. It's about, been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, who, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. And we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means we also get customers who want special treatment. So you mean to say I should try and please this picky woman, Lois Crawford? Yes, this is important as Dugong Hotel's reputation lies in the balance. I mean, that doesn't make a lot of sense because if she's known for being like a really harsh critic and the Dugong Hotel is generally has a good reputation, like, you know, you can't please everybody. It's been good. No complaints. About to go to bed myself. Figured I would stop by until I crashed. Well, I appreciate you stopping in. Hmm. What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? All right, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Boncho. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guest. All right, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi, when it comes to servicing food. Very good. Now, as for the type of menu to employ, kaiseki course. I don't even know what kaiseki is. Kaiseki is a traditional Japanese dining method. An hors d'oeuvre, small dishes, sashimi, soup, grilled food, and steamed food are brought out in order, followed by rice. It allows you to taste many kinds of food and is regarded as the quintessential Japanese meal. What do you think of the kaiseki course? It's traditional. Kaiseki is a form of art which utilizes many dishes to express a unified theme. That means using soup, grilled food, steamed food, and fried, deep fried food to express a theme. Doing all that is impossible in this current kitchen. Hmm, all right. Since it's to be a dinner, I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means it's, it'd probably be better to employ a Western course format instead. Though it'll be a bit different from the traditional method, I think I could add soup and hors d'oeuvre, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert to the course. What do you think? What? That's just as many things as the kaiseki thing that they were talking about. And Boncho was like, oh, this kitchen isn't set up for that. But then he just he just talked about adding just as many things. We need to work out these recipes. Well, we don't need to do anything. Boncho has to do it. Not bad. So what will you make for each dish? There's the soup to begin with. Boncho is the chef, so he can worry about that. Yes, I think they'll be fine up to the sushi. Tempura is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. Hmm, it's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. I've been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? You must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. Oh, okay. So when Yoshi came into the restaurant, she we had to serve her a shark head dish because she was like oh the first time i had this it wasn't good and then she had it again and she was like okay this is really good 
This kitchen isn't set up for that. Exactly. He was like, oh, this kitchen isn't set up to hold that many courses. And then he just said he would do that many courses. They were just like different things. It was the same amount of things as the Kaiseki course. What, a shark? Can sharks be eaten? Yes, but isn't shark meat illegal or something? Let me look it up. Is shark meat legal? Oh, shark meat is legal, but you can't eat shark fins. That's what it is. Huh, but wait, where do you even get shark? I've never seen shark on a menu. Or a grocery store. Can you eat shark and how does it taste? People often describe shark's meat as shark meats taste as meaty and mild with a hint of sweetness. The texture is moist but not chewy, best compared to alligator or chicken. Okay, I have had alligator. Alligator is very gamey. It's pretty good though. Well, I want to try if I if shark meat's legal, I want to try it. Tail fin soup, yeah, shark, shark fin soup is illegal, but it's just the fins. But the sh the shark meat is is legal. But but if the shark meat is legal, then how come the fin isn't legal? You know what I'm saying? Because wouldn't the shark already be dead for for the meat? Is it illegal to sell shark meat? Hmm, okay. Well, I don't know anywhere you can find shark meat. Shark meat. What if you farm the shark? Japanese people eat shark. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look this up. Let's go. It's considered an aphrodisiac. Really? Sharks are a very tasty fish. This is the time of year where when they grow fat, boosting the flavor. The meat in the cheeks has a particular... The meat in the cheeks in particular has a lovely chewy texture, which reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. A shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Can we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Lois Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. That is, it is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Um, I'll give it some thought. I'm not sure if it'll be okay. I can't help but think it's not that great of an idea, Boncho. Hmm. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to, to the Dugong Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. A hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from just taking a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person, after all. What a pity, I understand. I'll go with shrimp tempura then, though it can't compare to shark. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. Shark cheeks? Yes. Not those cheeks. The face cheeks. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Boncho. Hmm, he's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh my, tight-lipped are we? Perhaps my looks leave you with at a loss for words? Ehe. <laughs> ha 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 ha, he seems a little tense. He's still quite a skilled chef, I assured you. I'll be looking forward to the food then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the wall as well. Furnishings at Gloria Hotel has a kitsch quality to them that I don't like. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need exercise daily to maintain my figure. Well, you know what, Lois Crawford? You don't need a gym to do that. I actually have a like a home gym set up with 
a treadmill and some other like gym machines but i don't even use them anymore because there are so many videos on youtube that are good workouts that don't require any equipment and since i started doing these workouts my manager at my modeling agency has been like wow rebecca like you're looking really toned like keep up the good workouts and it's like workouts that don't require any equipment and you don't need a lot of space for it either I want to try fried eels. Looks delicious if you've seen it on YouTube. I have not seen fried eels, but I that is something I would totally eat. I've had eel before, and it's good. I've had like eel sushi. It was our intention that you stay your stay be as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So, what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. The first dishes are steamed snapper and yam soup, steamed egg, pickled olive flounder fins. Wait, why am I choosing? Uh, steamed snapper and yam soup. This is a steamed dish composed of grilled snapper and roe, which was then steamed, garnished with ground yam. The soup features the rich flavor of fish. Okay, so I ordered um, like a red snapper at a restaurant before and I didn't know snapper, like I didn't know that was like fish. <laughs> I thought it was a turtle, you know, like the snapper turtle or snapping turtle. Hmm, is that a Japanese soup? Wait, do people eat turtle? It's got a bland flavor coupled with a spicy scent. Quite interesting. That is the flavor of the shi chimi. There's a tiny bit of flavoring provided by a condiment made from seven different spices. And the next dish is... I mean, she's probably going to criticize anything that I pick. So the tempura and dessert are left? What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. The sort that's commonly served with rice? Thigh. The dessert's no doubt the usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her reaction. Have we succeeded? How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as, it, as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then, but why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? Ha 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 ha. Even so, I'm sure our food is better than most other restaurants. The snapper soup or something was pretty interesting, but that's it. It was just a fishy soup with, spicy, with a spicy aftertaste. To think you added sticky yam on top. Ugh, I didn't really like the texture. Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't all, all that to your liking. Ignorant of the fact we served you Japanese? My mistake. Please accept my apologies. Whatever, it wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. Heh. Um, may I have a word? Boncho. Allow me to introduce myself again. I am the master chef who works here, Boncho. Oh boy. I'd also eat shark, but not whales, even if I had access to it as it's illegal. Yeah, so sh sh uh, whale meat is illegal, right? But shark meat isn't. But shark fins are illegal. But I I'm, I'm, don't understand that because if you're getting the shark meat, aren't you also getting the fin? I consider whales and dolphins e equivalent to people. Really? Why is that? I, I mean, they're smart. I don't know if I would put them on the same level as people. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? Now, now, Boncho, Miss Lois here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide you food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, well, gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you win us today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can objectively be called good. Boncho, you can't be talking about... Hmm, so you're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me? All right, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Boncho, you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. This is... A whole roasted shark head. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my god! Th this is... You fried the whole head? It is an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. I chose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredient. Get that out of my sight. How can you call this food? What are you saying? Take just a bite. I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. 
I'm not happy about this. Is this what service is like at the Dugong Hotel? It's all my fault. I'll apologize. Now, Bonto, Yoshi, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lois. I should have been more vigilant. Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lois? Bonto, now isn't the time to... I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank or a punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll just let you get away with it. What? For treating you this way? I mean, you were interested at first because Bancho was like, hey, I, th I have something I think you'll like. And then he gave her a shark head and she was like, what? How dare you treat me this way? But if you're so picky, then why wouldn't you try something unusual? Because if you're so picky, then only only something that's like very specific you would like. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. Oh boy, I guess that was the incident. Their brains are about the size of humans proportional to their size. Oh, really? Especially tuna. But I think of cats and dogs as people too on an emotional level. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't say I feel the same way. I mean, I love my dog, but... I don't think that he is as emotionally complex as a human. After that, Boncho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. It's my belief if it wasn't it's my belief it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and the cooking methods that he researched. Mm. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was this stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Mm. Working with you now, he even started social media. I feel something has changed about him, and I like it. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. Aww. I'm good for him. Pigs are at least as smart as dogs, but I'm a hypocrite by accident of birth. Society said pigs are food, so... They are food. They are really good food. But I have heard that also. I've heard that pigs are really smart. Uh, I, I've also heard that rats are really smart. I heard that rats make really good pets and they're, they're basically just like tiny dogs. Dogs are at the level of toddlers, I think. Yeah, like, well, their intelligence, they say, are equivalent to like a two-year-old human and like the the more intelligent dogs like border collies like my dog they're supposedly they're at the intelligence of like a three-year-old but i mean to me like to me then that's not they're not then they, they can never be the equivalent of humans because they they never grow up you know like a, a toddler a two or three-year-old they'll eventually they'll grow up and they'll be able to understand everything that you're saying but a dog will never be able to really understand the things that you say to them. I'll do my best to help Boncho focus on his cooking. I don't think other animals are stupid, but I don't think any other animal is on the same level as a human. Oh, Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio, either. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. You... you what? What happened? Well, you see... <laughs> I like that recap. I see. I envy you. I do. What a lucky experience. Dog, always a child. Yeah. I mean, pretty much. But they're they're dogs, you know? Like, no matter how smart they are, they, they could never be the equivalent of a human. Mm. I'm not sure I, how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but as you said, only one person can use the sea people mirror. What a pity. Ha ha ha, what an unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Mm. Yes, I'll have to use the sea people mirror first to visit their village. Philosophical, yeah. 
You can use the mirror Tenzin gave you to immediately travel to the Sea People Village. The mirror is solar powered, so it is unable so it is unable to be used at night. Oh, okay. huh, some kind of mail is here. Mm -hmm. Should I check it? Okay, they he always says some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? And then they just make you check it. Just because we don't know how to communicate doesn't mean something is not smart. We found out with gorillas. I mean, I don't think animals are not smart. I just don't think they're on the same level as humans. The Spice Lab. Hello, everyone. This is the Spice Lab. We researched the perfect combination of various spices and ingredients. We've heard that the waters of the Blue Hole are like a world fair that exhibit all kinds of marine spice, marine species. What kind of palatal, palatal, palate, palatal? I don't know how to pronounce that. Surprises shall we find when we with when various fish and spices meet. We will embark on this culinary journey in three days. Our chosen ingredient is curry. Curry is well known for its anti-cancer, anti-dementia properties. Meet the new taste of the blue hole at the party, the spice lab. We also offer deep sea fish sushi. Please come by. First time with some free time in a while. What? How do you not have free time? All you do is hang out on the boat. Rhino Chimera Radai. A silver cartilaginous fish with a long elephant-like snout and poison in its first fin. Measured at around 140 cm, it dwells at depths of 200 to 2000 m in temperate and tropical waters and feeds on small fish. Now, what else is new? Okay. Oh, I got ten... ten of those jellyfish each. Nice. We are smart, too. Yeah, I, well, I mean, we're... yeah, like, there's... Other animals are also smart. I mean, they're smart in different ways than us. But I also don't think they are on the same level as humans. Nima's restaurant. Yep, the food at Mi... Mi Mami? It's so good. It's really different than the food at home. Where do you get your ingredients? Well, well, are you the human we've been hearing rumors about? I found out chimps gang up on gorillas. Our closest relative is really... is very mean. Really? Closest, not closet. <laughs> Actually, well, I read it as clo closest. Did you watch that chimp documentary? They are savage eating other monkeys and having turf wars. What? Although, from Battersea Power Station. I mean, my dog does some things that I, like, I think are really smart, and I'm like, wow, I'm like, wow, how did he figure that out? But he, he could never be on, like, the same level. Like, he, he could never understand, like, when I brought him to meet my brother and his kids, like, my, my dog couldn't understand, like, if I told him you know, like, let the kids run around because he would, like, kind of freak out when my nieces and nephews would start running around because he's a herding dog and that, like, triggers his herding instinct. But I could never tell him, I could never communicate to him, like, D like don't freak out when they start running around because he just, like, doesn't understand. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ho, you don't look as scary as I expected. My name is Mima. I run a restaurant in the village. I'm Dave. I'll be helping out at the village for a while. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ho, receiving help from a human. I have never considered it a possibility before. Let's see, it's not like I can ask you to cook. Hmm. My goodness, I forgot. Awang and Nawang ordered lunch boxes. Oh, the gatekeepers that were whispering earlier. Yes, would you perhaps take the lunch boxes I left in front of the door? They should still be on duty at the gate. Please help me out, human. Deliver Mima's lunch boxes. We can do that. 
Uh, Nawang and Awang. They're so noisy when they're hungry. Please hurry, human, before they come to the restaurant and raise a ruckus again. I've been coughing a lot lately. Hot soup is just right for this. How do you eat soup in water? Humans ask such strange things. Cough. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't give me an answer. Asian looking. So also, I don't lose oxygen here. Oh, what is that? They've got like working animals. It's a manatee. You're getting in the way of my farming. Oh, okay. Sorry. How did you get here? Game parlor. Would you like a little live music? Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Well, that was nice. Dark teeth find the pearl? Yeah. Hey, well, look at you, human. I'm sure you had a lot of trouble coming all the way down here. Nothing like a few games to get your adrenaline going when you're tired, eh? Play a game with me, hehe. <laughs> oh, they're games. Very relaxing game. It is. Well, it's, at times it can be stressful, but I think by now it's, it's not very stressful because I've got the restaurant set up where it runs really well. This is the game of sharks, which you play which you play with Junak. Remember the shark cavity that you'll sometimes get a glimpse of. Numbers between 1 to 3 are selected and whoever touches it first will lose. What? I don't understand these instructions. Remember the shark cavity? Okay, I, so I guess I remember whatever shi is shiny. Numbers, but I don't get the numbers between one to three are selected and whoever touches it first will lose. Oh, are you short on money? Talk to me again when you're ready. Oh, I need money. Okay, what's this other game? Find the pearl. In this game, you try to find the hermit crab that hid the pearl. Guess which of, which of the fast moving hermit crabs hid the pearl? How can hermit crabs be so fast? I've been gambling a lot to blow off steam. I should skip a few meals. I haven't won any money since humans came here. This, this can't be a coincidence. Ah, oh, so it's a it's a casino. This is troublesome. All the seahorses escaped. We can't hold races, and it's tough putting food on the table. Hey, you're the human that's been wandering about our village, right? What fancy decorations? What is this place? Hey, we see people work hard every single day. This is a place of pleasure for the hardworking villagers. So I can't come in, right? Hey, it's all right. Species is no barrier to enjoyment, is it? Oh, right. You're helping out at the village, isn't that right? Yes, I guess that's how it is for now. I've been needing help with something. This establishment operates seahorse races, which are extremely popular. A recent earthquake destroyed the general quarters and all the seahorses have run off. Yeah. They should still be in the village. Will you go catch them for me? Catch the runaway seahorses. Hmm, seahorses? They're too small to catch with a harpoon. I'll have to think of a way. The earthquake has allowed all the seahorses to escape and the seahorse races are on hold. Yeah. Please look out, look throughout the village. I'll be waiting here. 
seahorse races. That's very clever. Okay, so, well, I can't use any weapons, so how would I catch them? Fried rice is my comfort food. I do love fried rice. I think I like noodles better than I like rice, though. I've lived 200 years and this is the first time I've seen a human. What are you doing here? Tenzin said you could stay here, right? Well, don't wander around too much. Why not? Oh my, I've never seen a human before. You have legs, just like a crab. Ah hee! Don't pop up no out of nowhere like that. See my gills pumping? There are no, oh, there's a request board. There are no active requests. I guess this is the exit. Hmm, you can't just grab seahorses with your hands. You need some kind of tool. All right. Why can't I just grab them with my hands? What's this? Oh, there's the lunchbox. Right? Yeah. Shrimp fried rice is my favorite. Mmm, I do love shrimp fried rice. Whoa, my first time seeing a human. Weird. What do you do with that mouth? You can't even breathe underwater. What? <laughs> they have mouths. Um, human, what is it? Especially with yellow curry and pineapple. I'm not a big fan of curry because I don't like spicy stuff. But otherwise, I like fried rice. Um, I was asked to bring you these lunch boxes. Hmm, these are from Mima. You didn't add poison on the way here or anything, did you? What? Why would I? Well, all right, give it here. Good work, I suppose. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Yum, this is what I've been craving. I love the taste of this food. What? Human? How long have you been peeping, you treacherous creature? What? You didn't notice me standing right in front of you? Mima's lunchbox. It tastes fantastic as usual. Human, I'll compliment you for not stealing some of the food. Well, look at the sign. Does it mean I can ri Does it mean I can ride a beluga here? I go full Thai hot if necessary. Ooh, yeah, I would never do that. I don't like spicy food at all. Seed shop. Huh, are you that human? Human, not human. Oh, he said human. I didn't even read that as human. Har har, you look interesting. You don't even have fins. He reminds me of someone. What, what is this shop you're running? I sell various seeds here as well as flowers to offer to King Long. King Long? My goodness, don't tell me you don't know who King Long is. He's the great king who saved this village from disaster. It's very difficult to hold a conversation with you, you know that? These sea people are rude as hell. Go and offer a flower to King Long first. The tribute flowers are on the platform outside. Take one. Without King Long, the sea people would have died out already. It's a very easy thing that we do, offering flowers like this. Was I supposed to take this?
I can't speak with someone who doesn't respect King Long. Go offer a flower or something first. Okay. Well, I think all of the quests take place in the village, so I guess if I swim around long enough, I'll find it. With them fresh cut peppers. I do know a lot of people who love curry, but I am not one of them. What? Is that a giant dumpling? this oh oh okay Whoa. hey now don't go poke uh, don't go poking about in the village too much you might trip on seaweed with those silly legs of yours <laughs> okay how would I trip if I'm swimming Hear me, the tremors are getting worse. Human, hurry up and help the villagers to gain their trust. Ahem, I mean, I wouldn't mind having a bit of help from you. You'll need the trust of the villagers as well. They've heard a lot of bad things about humans and they stayed out of contact for a long time. Go and help the villagers out. Go and help the villagers first. Oh, look, his throne is a shell. That's really cool. Oh, there's a seahorse in here. I don't know how I'm supposed to catch them, though. Yeah, I don't like her either. Yeah, it's too spicy for me. I just don't like anything spicy. I mean, the food that, you know, the... Some Chinese cuisine has spicy food like Sichuan cuisine, but the kind of Chinese food I grew up on, it wasn't spicy. I heard that this door was previously used to go to the glacial region, but this passage has been blocked for a while. No, Nobody knows what state it's been in during that time. I'm a bit of a pepper junkie IRL. Like chili peppers? Because I like, you know, I like like bell peppers. Even though we pray, earthquakes keep coming. Is faith really enough to solve this problem? Don't say such things. The reason we are all still okay is all thanks to King Long. Peppers and onions. I love peppers and onions. King Long Shrine. Oh, nobody is here. I guess I'll have to come back later. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to take the flower. But how do I bring the flower up here? Because it wouldn't let me take the flower. The ice of the divine tree is melting little by little. There are more and more getting sick. So the only way I got here was through like one of these little doors. But it wouldn't let me take the flower through. I love Serbian food too. Dumplings? I don't know that I've ever had Serbian food. Alright, let's talk to Mima? Yeah, Mima. Oh, you delivered them, didn't you? Haha, <laughs> humans are not half bad. I'll tell you if I need something done again. Bay. Bay, okay, so bay is the currency here. No, that's just going out to the ocean. Okay, so I guess the flower is over where I left it. Over here. Because I left it right in front of this portal thing. What? Where is it, though? Okay. I 
I think I might have to exit and then come back. Because the flower disappeared. Speaking of animals, Tony Soprano loved animals and babies, but he didn't respect the lives of anyone who was old enough to see his flaws. His psychology was based on real dark triad traits. Huh. It's good to love animals, but it's not necessarily indicative of being a good person. Oh yeah, I completely agree. And the opposite is true too, right? Like, just because you don't like animals, it doesn't mean you're a bad person. Like, my aunt is a really good person, but she doesn't like animals. I mean, it's just, it's just not her preference. I mean, animals just like, they just aren't for everybody. Okay, I'm gonna exit and then come back. Because the flower is missing now. It's not in front of the shop and it's not where I left it. Can I build this thing now? No, I can't. Whitefish is where it's at with high end sushi. I am HO. I do love some whitefish. Okay, now there's the flower. I don't get how I'm supposed to bring this to the shrine, though. Okay, let me try again. Maybe I was maybe I have to maybe I didn't hold down R RT. X no, it doesn't let me go through. Oh. Oh, I have to bring it here? Okay. Oh, so this is the statue of King Long. It's the same person as in the painting from the record chamber. Oh, so all I have to do is bring it here. I guess I could put the flower on the platform in front of the, front of the statue. Didn't make that very clear game. I've done what he asked, so I should go back and talk to him. Yeah, as long as you don't cause animals harm, you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, my my aunt just doesn't like like, you know, she she doesn't like a lot of like fur and slobber. And then also like, you know, a lot of people's dogs will just like jump up on her and she doesn't like that. I did peek a little and it seems you did okay. Even so, I can't just trust a human who doesn't even know what King Long has done. Go and do a bit of reading or something. Not that I'm an expert, I just watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> Same here. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back into that casino place. Or a slab of walleye from Great Lakes. Mm. Blacksmith. Haven't been here yet. Hmm, human. Is this where I get the thing I need for the seahorses? Eh? Okay. Which one is the casino? Oh, they gave me a mini map. Unfortunately, farms sometimes abuse cattle. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, I think that happens pretty often. Okay, there's the restaurant. Where was the casino? The seed shop. Yeah, and I think I think it's not just cattle, it's like pretty much any livestock that's being farmed and sold. That's why they have all the like free range cage free labels on eggs for chickens, because chickens also get abused. But I listen to st Stuff You Should Know. It's a podcast. It's a really good podcast, if you don't know it. And they did a, an episode on all those l different labels. And they said it like they don't really necessarily mean anything. Okay, I'm gonna save before I start. Oh, I guess I can't save right now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Settings. No, I can't save right now. Okay. Well, we're gonna try playing one of these games. So, I guess if I select three, that means I'm pressing down the teeth. Okay, I think I get it. So you- you get shown where the mouth is going to close. And then you choose how many teeth you want to press down. Vegans have good intentions, but I could never be one. Me neither. on the side. I don't remember which one it was though. Okay, yeah, the, the game did not explain those instructions very well. Okay, we're not gonna play that one again. We'll play this one. If you understand the Raptorians, the Raptorians. Yeah, I can never be a vegan either. I, I also think they, they do have good intentions, but um, I also think they like, they take things really far and they also like, I just think it's like, you're, there's so, there's so much in the process that it's, it's impossible to be like 100% ethical. Cause like, I think for some things we really don't have a choice. And the way that things are done, especially with the demand that people have. This one. How am I supposed to catch the seahorses? No. Dinosaurs? Few understand the Raptorians. Well, raptors are di dinosaurs, but what are the Raptorians?
Okay, let's try going to the King Long altar. See if anything's changed now that I put the flower on the shrine. Oh, nobody's here. I guess I'll have to come back later. Okay, what is supposed to happen here? A net. Maybe I need the maybe I need the net gun. Does that count as a dive if I go to the village and back? Oh, it is a dive. Well, I have a net gun. Let me try that. Brown seahorse, dwarf seahorse, giraffe seahorse, hedgehog seahorse. Wait a minute, but they don't allow me to use my weapons in here. Okay, yeah, so I still don't know, I still don't know how I'm supposed to catch the seahorses. Okay, um, let me just look this up because I'm at a loss here. Finish the. Um, I have to finish getting uh, the girl's request. Okay, so well, I'm gonna have to waste this dive, unfortunately. Alright, so I need the bug net, but in order to do that, I need to get back to the surface and do a mission up there. Okay, so... but it looks like there's something else here that I can do. So it's not a complete loss. Oh no! What is it, Mima? I need to serve customers, but I'm missing an ingredient. Say, could you venture into the depths for me? Alright, what do you need? Oh my, you're helping? Ha ha ha. I need tube coral, which looks like this. You'll probably find it near whale bones. Do help me out. Whale bones? I think I've seen them before. Oh dear, I need tube coral to cook. The coral looks like this. Please do get it for me. It should be near the whale bones. Okay. Alright, so at least I can do something else here. And the seed shop doesn't have anything else. Okay, what about the blacksmith? Oh, I, okay, so there is an exclamation point. That means there's another quest over here. Is this uh, just the same? Okay, yeah, this is just the seahorses. Okay, never mind. Alright, well, now I gotta swim all the way back.
Okay, so I'm already, well, I'm already in the depths, at least, so. Dang, just ran out of time. Oh, yeah. Okay, tube coral. Rubber chicken. Why is the rubber chicken damage 10? That's a lot. Okay, that looks like what she was asking for, but I guess that's not it. near the whale bones, but I don't know where that's supposed to be. On my bacon? You put time on your bacon? pestle for the salt and pepper let's go wait why do you need a mortar and pestle for salt and pepper oh here we go oh these are whale bones okay tube coral a coral that grows in the depths it seems to be used as a food ingredient by the sea people Luckily, they're all right next to each other. What? That doesn't damage it at all? I don't know how I'm supposed to kill that thing. I think it's back this way to break up the chunks, milady. Chunks and salt and pepper? Wait, why do you get chunks in your salt and pepper? No. Was not this way.
Although, I guess I could just go back to the boat. Because I need the bug light. Not the bug light, bug net. I need the bug net. Because otherwise I can't catch the seahorses. Okay, but I made it back, so I guess I might as well not waste a trip. Hey, I'm just sliding by while, while looking something up and saw you were live, so hi, Chantel! Hello, thank you so much for coming in, how are you? What were you looking up? Anything interesting? I mean, I'm sure it was interesting. Pepper is corn and salt is from Himalaya. But don't you use like a... I mean, I don't really... I don't use like... Ingredients like that. Like, I, I just get the like already ground up black pepper and stuff. But don't you use like a grinder for pepper? Oh my, yes, this is it. Thank you so much, haha. I can finally provide proper food to my customers. I'd like to hear about you humans too. So drop by to chat every now and then, haha. <laughs> Wow, thanks for all your help. I've been told humans are selfish. You don't seem half bad. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I'm sure the sea people have to be the same, right? Like, they, I bet some of them are bad people. I mean, they're not very nice to me. Well, some of them are, are nice. But a lot of them are not nice to me. Okay, so we're going to go back to the boat because I need to feed... That girl that comes to the restaurant, I need to feed her a special dish so she can give me the bug net because I cannot catch these seahorses until I have that bug net. Well, Rebecca, I'm in the end of Rift Apart, about to be the final boss with Dr. Nefarious and Emperor Nefarious. Six more trophies for my ninth platinum and milestone 1000th trophy. Yay, nice! Congratulations! I'm doing great. I forgot one of my affiliate links and the easiest place to find it was on one of my vids, so not too exciting. <laughs> okay. Well, that's smart, though. How's Dave the Diver? What's it about? Dave the Diver is good. It's um, about you. So you basically you go into the ocean, you get two dives a day. You get a morning dive and uh, an afternoon dive and you go diving for fish. And then you use it to stock a sushi restaurant that you help run at night. But there's also another whole storyline which involves sea people, like mer people, like a whole mer people civil 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 civilization. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. You know what? Eventually it came out. Sir, I'm ready to take pictures of manta rays. Oh. I hired some lighting guys and made them set up lighting fixtures at the right places. Mm. Oh, you must have spent some money? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> one can't pass up an opportunity like this. Yeah. They told me that the lightning fixtures were set at a depth of 20 meters. Can you please check them out? Oh. I expect some awesome pictures then. Uh, I guess we have to do the night dive. I mean, 20 meters, that's like nothing. Oh, the storm is getting rowdy again. How about the super rare boss card? How about we try to get it again? You'll be able to meet the creature by going into the vortex that was created by the storm. Don't lose the opportunity, Marinpa Collector. Oh, so see, you can't feel it. I guess unless you end the game and you never do it, but you could, I mean, you could get it again. Okay, so I'm gonna change to my flame sniper. I mean, I guess if we're gonna do the manta rays, I guess we might as well Oh, right, I can't shop at, uh, his shop at night. I guess we might as well try to get this whirlpool thingy. There you go, Mad Industries, hello. Thank you so much for coming in, how are you? Okay, so tw going down 20 meters is not very far at all. So I should be able to get the picture pretty quickly. And then I did just buy at the fish farm, I did buy the night, the nighttime section. Gamescom in three days, FS7 Rebirth new soon. It's gonna be an interesting couple of days, I bet. 
Okay, we're okay. So this is twenty meters. You make me feel calmer. Oh, uh, really? Well, that's nice. I'm glad I make you feel calmer. Find where the lighting fixtures are installed. Okay. I mean, that shouldn't be too difficult, right? I got three of these attacking me at once. Okay, great. Now there's a fourth one. well yourself I am doing good playing a little more Dave the Diver so at night we get some, a little more dangerous fish Like a fishing trip? Well, I guess every one of these Dave the Diver streams are a fishing trip. Deep sea fishing trip. Okay, so I also got these little fish that are really aggressive. These little lionfish, they're always really aggressive. Okay, I see something up there. Oh, that's a whirlpool. We'll come back to that. Let's find the light fixtures first. These look like lighting fixtures. The sharks must have knocked them down. I need to prop them up and connect them again before taking pictures. All right. It looks better illuminated. I should lure plankton by dropping the lure capsule in the middle. This is so much work for this victor. Oh, I see glowing worms. They make the scene surreal. Ah, manta rays won't come if I am here. I should hide behind the pile of rocks over there until one appears. Oh, Shy, are they? He is not very well hidden. Oh. Mm. 
Oh, that it really is a manta ray. Mm -hmm. I must keep my distance so I don't scare it off. Oh, I got too close and the glowing worms dispersed. What? How am I? How am I supposed to take a picture though if I can't get over there? Better know your chef if it's a, if it's a puffer, milady. What? What? I don't. I'm. I'm so confused. I can't get over there. I can't take a picture until, unless I go over there, but every time I go over there, they're like, oh, you went too close. To stay down here. Okay, that's it. I have to stay down here. Ooh, that was a good picture. Camera focus, manta ray when target is illuminated. Good, this is fantastic. Now I must go up and talk to Udo. Okay, we got the manta ray picture. Now we'll go to the vortex. It is right here. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to fight something, so let's get some weapons and ammo. Well, I think I just need one more bullet. Okay, I think I got some pretty good weapons, so let's go in here. Not sure what I'm going to find in here, because all Thado said was that it's going to be a super rare boss card. Hmm, I went into the vortex and ended up here. Maybe they, these are things that got caught in the storm and disappeared. Hmm, I think that big truck just moved. Check on the suspicious truck. Oh, okay. giant crab. 
truck hermit crab. How did that thing get so big? Ah, a moving truck? It's not a truck, it's a giant hermit crab. I don't think a gun will do anything. What do I do? A gun won't do anything. Hmm. Are you sure about that? I guess it won't. Hmm. What is this? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, how do I make these explode? Get what I'm supposed to be doing. Hey, okay, I guess I'm supposed to drop this on him. Okay, yeah. he drops weapons that will hurt him every time he pounds the ground. No, oh, I guess he doesn't really drop them. They come up from the ground. <gasps> he can blow them up on me?
much, really. So now I have the Moana shiny song stuck in my head. <laughs> now I'm gonna get that song stuck in my head. That is a good song. I love Moana. It does look like that crab. Okay, not terribly difficult once you figure out what to actually do. Oh, he's not dead. That thing was really nothing without the shell. I hope the boss card Sato was talking about has now been activated. Has been activated. A piece of the hermit crab pincer came off. Did I pick up a piece? Alright, so I guess this will be used in the sushi restaurant. In real life, animals do have attack patterns. This one diver has a video where she's splashing and a shark comes after her, so she changes her movements and pushes it away. Ah. Yeah, that makes sense. The vortex came back after defeating the hermit crab. Let's go back to the boat using that. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess all animals have patterns of behavior, whether it's attack patterns or otherwise. Okay, so I'm... Wait, is, can I get out of here without going back to the boat? Because I still have space in my cargo box. No, I guess I can't. No, it doesn't bring me back to the boat automatically. Okay. She went from being prey to an unknown anomaly in the mind of a shark. Yeah. Well, that's kind of scary. Yeah, the, I think the ocean has some pretty scary stuff, and we don't even know half of what's down there. Where is everyone? A big fish. Hmm, so at night you can't even go down to the depths. They only let you go down a certain amount. Very interesting. I guess it'd be too dangerous at night. I mean, well, there's like nobody here. I'd like to do that someday. The closest I've come is the end of Sonic and Knuckles on the Sega Genesis. So, <laughs> yeah. I bet there's some pretty cool videos of it that somebody took.
Did you hear about this actress that got attacked by otters while she was filming something? I saw it on Twitter and everybody in the comments was like, what? That can't be true because otters are so cute. They would never do this. But otters are actually like very aggressive and not nice animals. This is why I said, like, I don't, I mean, I don't think that animals are ever on the same level of humans because no other animal, well, I guess I can't say for sure, but because I, I don't know what it's like to be any other animal, but if we have any indications of other animals, like, they're just surviving on instinct. They're not really, like, thinking about anything else. They're, they're not thinking as com complex thoughts as we are. Like, th those otters just decided to attack randomly, and they, and they just, like, attack other animals just, like, randomly. But to them, that there's no, like, being good or being bad. Like, they're just animals. They don't think that way. Okay, I'm just gonna go back up to the boat because there's just nothing here for whatever reason. I guess I can grab the stuff. Did not know that about otters. Yeah, you should look it up. Because there's, like, some stuff that I don't even want to say on stream that they do. <laughs> what? You found the super rare boss card? Mm. Astounding. You must be a natural-born Marincot collector. Mm. The sea was unrelenting with all those terrifying sea creatures. That was serious stuff. Haha. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> That's no big deal compared to the super awesome super rare boss card. But I went through all that. Now tap share a card with friends like this. All right, there we go. Keep up the good work. Ho ho. Here, take a look at this picture. What do you think? Oh, this is a manta ray. Look how majestic it is. My eyes are teary, you see? I'm just kidding. Our editors will love this picture for sure. You're my hero. I will see you again. Okay. Ooh, a thousand gold. That is, that's a good, re that was totally worth it. That was a really good reward. From now on, photo spots will appear at night as well. Take nice evening pictures. Truck hermit crab. A huge hermit crab found in the blue hole. It lives in an abandoned truck under the sea and is only active at night. All right, let's check out our fish farm. Dogs have a sense of morality. They want to be good boys unless they've been abused. Um, they want to... So I would say it's more like they want to please their owners. But there's been research done that says that they don't, they don't feel shame. Like when they've done something and you get mad at them, they only like they only look upset because they know they do, that they've just done something that you don't like but they don't like they don't have like the critical thinking to understand like that it was wrong they just know that you didn't like it but it, i mean it is true that they want to make us happy but they they don't really think of it as, like, doing the right or wrong thing. They just know, like, X makes my human happy, Y makes my human sad. 
or upset upset with me. Then again, I saw footage of an evil dog. He'd drink water while other dogs were waiting, then splash the water out of the bowl. He'd stop eating his food to literally pick up their bowl and pour it in his. Yeah, I mean, there's always going to be some exceptions. I mean, that happens with humans too, right? Like some, some humans are just born evil. But that's that's in a small percentage of people. But so, some dogs are also born that way. Like they, they might be born with some kind of mental illness that makes them evil or bad dogs. Uh, what? Sea people? Uh -huh. It's hard to believe that something only I've I've only heard of in legend is real. <laughs> I have so many things to say, but I'm too tired. Cole, hello, thank you so much for coming in. Okay, you can say them next time. But listen, I have some stuff to tell you. I I went grocery shopping today and I got eggs, sardines, and mackerel and apples to try with Jax. And he likes eggs. So I found out he likes eggs. He likes mackerel and he likes sardines. I haven't tried the apples with him yet. If there is good beer in that area, I wouldn't mind trying some. I don't think there will be drinks underwater. That's just animal behavior. Attributing good or bad is anthropomorphism. For, uh, how do I pronounce that? Anthropomorphism. Right. That's how I pronounce it, right? Okay, yes. Yeah. So, Francisco, we should listen to Cole about animal behavior because she used to be a vet nurse. So I'm going to trust Cole. But that's, that's what, um, okay, you know what, Francisco? Cole will be a very interesting person to talk to this about. However, Cole, I'm not sure how familiar you are with aquatic animals, but we've been talking about dolphins and whales. But like, I, I mean, I was saying that I don't think that any animal is really on like the same level as humans because, and it, maybe I'm just like not educated here, but I like, they don't really, I mean, like you said, like, they don't think of anything as like good or bad. Like they just don't think that way. Like th their main instinct is just to survive. And so they don't, they don't really have like morals. They don't like do right or wrong. But we were talking about dolphins and otters because otters are like, actually are like very aggressive. I mean, they're cute, but the, they're like super, they do some really like messed up things. If you look them up, they do some like really messed up things. And there, there was, I saw on Twitter, there was this actress that um, got attacked by otters and all these people in the comments were like, oh, that's, that can't be true because otters are so cute and, and they're like so friendly, but they're not, they're like, so they're like not nice animals. And although dolphins are smart, I, I mean, dogs are smart too, but I just don't think that they would ever be the equivalent to humans. Looks like this is the only place to eat. This is what I don't like about remote areas. Ready? This decrepit place can't possibly make sushi that will inspire me. I'll just have to fill my belly with what I can get. Mm -hmm. Um, what a rude customer. What do you want? Yeah, Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the movie director, Michael Bang. Oh, <laughs> he's supposed to be Michael Bay. <laughs> Dolphins are considered non-human people. No joke, really? Okie dokie, Cole, that's fascinating in itself. And thanks for all the fish. In school, they said if aliens came down to our planet, they might assume octopi or dolphins are at the top of the food chain or a dominant intelligent species. Really? Otters are terrifying IRL. I know, right? Wait, but why would they... Why would that... Why would they think that? Because, like, we as humans have developed ways to capture octopus or dolphins, but they haven't found a way to capture us. Gosh. Wait, didn't you direct Robot Samurai? Oh, so that's supposed to be Transformers. Ha, huh, looks like your eyes are functional. Yes, I'm the great action film director, Michael Bang. I can't believe he's talking like that about himself. I'm filming my new movie, The Stone, around these parts, and I can't seem to get the ending scene right. 
I think I might find new inspiration with food that'll clear up my head. It doesn't seem likely I'll find anything here. I'm leaving. Wait, Robot Samurai was an amazing movie. I watched it multiple times and was moved every time. All I can remember is explosions. If you make it, if you can make such another such great movie through my food, I'd be willing to cook for you. Oh, so you're a fan? I'm grateful, but can you pull it off? I've got high standards when it comes to sushi. The rice I use in these parts is terrible, by the way. That's why use the, we use the best rice we can find in this region. Give me three days. I'll prepare food that will make your head all but explode with inspiration. Well, all right. I'll be back in three days. Don't disappoint me, chef. All right. So now we got to make some other special meal. The teeth alone. Yeah, the, the like, if you just look at the stuff otters do, they're like, yeah, they're not nice. They occupy more space, 70 plus percent ocean, live harmoniously. Hmm. But there, are, I have heard of dolphins doing some pretty messed up stuff. But I guess like humans also do that. I don't know about, I don't know much about octopuses, but I have to imagine that they're not like completely harmonious either, you know? I mean, I think all animals, all animals have to have conflicts even with their, in their own species. Wancho, do you have a plan? <laughs> hmm, cooking is an art form. I know well the pain of an otter. <laughs> I'll prepare food that will inspire him. <laughs> However, as he said, the rice I use is the Annam rice of this region. <laughs> it bothers me that the ingredient has limits when it comes to creating the best possible sushi. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee, I've been listening in to your conversation. <laughs> if it's rice, I think I could come up with something. <laughs> hmm, do you have an idea, Otto? Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee, give me just a day. I'll be touch in the morning. I'll be in touch in the morning. <laughs> Hmm, if we can get high quality rice, we can make sushi with three kinds of fish. I mean, triggerfish, harlequin hine, and coral trout. That's a lot of ingredients. He appreciate, appreciates flourish. Please don't be late. Okay, so those fish are pretty easy to get. But we haven't had rice yet. Which I don't know how they're making sushi without rice. Well, they are, I guess they do have rice. They just have some other rice. Oh, white rice. Okay, so white rice is a one of the ingredients in Michael Bang's inspiration. We don't have white rice. What are we making sushi with? Steamed wolf eel. The fluorescent tail of a wolf eel is cut and steamed for a long time. The sharp taste of this dish is energizing. They are insanely smart octos. I've heard that. I don't know much about them though, so I'm gonna have to look that up. Stir-fried hermit crab and seaweed. The meat of a truck hermit crab is stir-fried with chopped kajime and presented on the skin. The chewy and savory flavor of the crab meat is complemented by the sea by sea trumpet. Okay, so that girl wanted this. White trevally kombu ochazuke. I need to put this on the menu. Put marlin. So I still haven't run out of marlin. I caught so much marlin for the marlin party. I still haven't run out. 119 saw shark. train Lou. I think the servers could use more training. Is it moral to eat octopus? Um, I mean, I think so. I love octopus, honestly. Um, I know octopus is used a lot in Spanish cuisine. I have a zoom optical camera and otter teeth are like bigger than a dog. Wow, really? I feel like I would eat octopus despite knowing how smart they are. I mean, I have before, <laughs> but I guess I didn't realize how smart they were. I do love octopus though. Mm-hmm. 
But I mean, clearly they're not seen on the same level as dolphins because it's a, like uh, like octopus is a very like common dish. Like n nobody really has any moral qualms about eating octopus. Who is this going to? Oh, I guess her. <laughs> These cutscenes kill me. Sob, sob. Huh? Why are you crying suddenly? Seen them cut a trout in half with one bite. Otters? Wow. I'm not surprised though. I would have to imagine there is some divergence in intelligence level between the different species of octopuses. Yeah, that's a good point. Huh? Why are you crying suddenly? It's too good. You... She said a bad word. This is way too good. Damn it, it's too good. It reminds me of my father. Sob. What's going on, kid? My name is Mackie. I'm looking for my father. My father left to explore the depths and I can't get in touch with him anymore. His favorite food was kombu and white trevally otazuke and I heard you sell it here. I thought he ha might have come by here. That's a pity. I'll be sure to tell you if we see someone that looks like your father. And what is that doll? This is a Cleone plushie. My father gave it to me before he left. Oh, I have a favor to ask. It's about the Cleone. I've never seen one in person. Could you catch one for me? Mm. Huh? A Cleone? Mm. Um, we can't catch something so small with a harpoon. What do we do? Mm. Could we use this? Mm. Oh, a bug net? Mm. Hmm, I think it might work. All right, I'll give it a shot. What are you doing, you walrus? Get your tights on and jump in the water. Okay, so rude. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't control my emotions that well yet. Oh, well, you better learn. Can't go around the world talking to people like that. You can now use the bug net to capture small creatures like seahorses and Cleone, which can't be caught with a harpoon. Okay, I finally found how to catch those little things. Because I've been wondering how to get those. Maybe we should just eat the less intelligent ones. <laughs> See, but what, doesn't that prove that we're smarter? Because we eat them, but they don't eat us. I don't eat octopi anymore, even though I love it. I also don't eat pigs. I just can't. Mostly chimkin and fish. Mm. I can't say, can't say I, would, I could give up octopus or pigs. <laughs> Watch my octopus teacher and you'll never be able to eat one again. Challenge accepted. We eat pigs and they are one of the smartest animals on the planet. Yes, we too. Yeah, because they taste so good. Um, Hello there, Dave. Have a good night's sleep? Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose so. You sound tired. Haha, okay. -ha, well, I stayed up all night working on something. Okay. What were you working on? <laughs> I'll show you. Get on the boat and come on over to next to the fish farm. You need to regularly remove weeds? Okay, so now I have something else to maintain? Wow, what is this place? Hehe, <laughs> I tried some food at the restaurant. The sushi has NM rice mixed in, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, that's the only rice we can manage to find around here. Mm. Bancho has got superb skills, but you won't meet that picky movie director standards with that kind of grain. <laughs> Since you're staying here a bit longer anyway, I thought you might help me grow some white rice. <laughs> wow, that's very nice, thank you. Mm. Hmm, the thing is, I'm not much of a farmer. What should I do first? Uh, I've seen how busy you are all day. I'll help, help you a little with growing the rice. Mm. Takes about a year in the real world to grow rice, but this is no rice farming game, is it? <laughs> uh, You'll see, be able to see the results in two to three days. Mm. 
Oh, but the thing is, I've injured my legs. Um, You'll have to pluck out the weeds. That'll prevent insects from harming the crop. Of course, if we can have good rice, plucking weeds is no problem. So I think there's a rice paddy right behind the restaurant. That's really great. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Wahahaha. <laughs> Glad to see you like it. Oh, as for the state of the rice paddy, technology has come a long way and you can use a mobile app to check on it. The app's called Farm Now. I'll update you on the status every morning through the app. Hmm. hmm, that reminds me. I remember when I used to be a novice farmer. Hmm. I'd gone to a farming village in Thailand on a very hot day. I was resting in the shade and a white-haired village chief came over, looked right into my eyes and told me, hmm. Enough. Oh. Now, now, cool your temper. As it happens, I see some weeds over there. <laughs> Go and pluck them. You can now visit the farm. The farm is where you can grow and harvest various crops needed for cooking. Wow, this game is getting very extensive. Good, pluck out the weeds out like that and I'll do the watering. I'm pretty sure that even that picky director would be satisfied with the rice with rice of this quality. Otto will grow rice for you in the farm. If you don't visit often to remove weeds, the soil health score may drop, causing pests to appear. Use white rice from the farm to make better quality sushi. <laughs> sushi made with anim rice isn't really original sushi, haha. <laughs> Okay, so all I have to do is come in here and pluck out the weeds. I don't need to do anything else here. Yet they figure genetically pigs taste like we do. Really? Okay, so... I have all the fish I need already. It was amazing. So how how did they figure out that pigs taste like we do. Ah, there are no customers today. The thing is, there was a seaweed collector named Sushi. Suchi. The collector provided seaweed to our restaurant. However, Suchi hasn't been coming by, so we're out of ingredients and can't accept any customers. Oh no, is there a way to contact Suchi? I have the key to Suchi's house, but I can't just leave the restaurant. How did you get the key? Oh, Suchi has a very large pet turtle. I used to go feed it from time to time. Oh ho ho. Dave, can you go for me instead? Oh, it must be tough not to be able to open your restaurant. I'll try going there. Can you tell me where it is? The thing is, it's kind of hard to explain because the terrain keeps on changing. That turtle eats so many jellyfish. Maybe there are traces nearby. Hmm, strange. I'll try looking for it. But Suchi should be at home. If you see jellyfish pieces, follow them, because that's the food those leatherback turtles love. Will you go to Suchi's house? He's a seaweed collector. There should be traces of jellyfish his turtle had been eating. Wait, so if she can't open her restaurant, how come she can't do this? Because she was like, well, I can't leave, but you can't open your restaurant. I think there was a seahorse in here. Yep. Oh dear. <laughs> Did you think that this conversation would go in this direction, Francisco, when we started talking about the animals? Some of the Pacific Islands had cannibal tribes and they described humans as long pig, indicating the flesh tasted similar to pork. Ah. So I know I saw a seahorse in the palace. Yep. Okay, just one more. Giraffe seahorse. 
I'm not sure where that one is. I learned a lot tonight. Me too. So basically we are cannibals. Oh, you must be the outsider. May King Long's protection be with you. Mm. Hello, what is this place? Oh, this is where we commemorate King Long. It's also where we store records of our history. Ah, I hear from Tenzin that you're helping out in the village. Yes, well, that's how it is for now. Hmm, in that case, there's something I'd like your help with. There's to be a wedding soon here in the village. A recent earthquake destroyed the stone slate we need for the wedding, however. I should have been more careful about storing it. Hmm, that sounds like a big deal, but how can I help you with something like that? In the days when we see people roam the seas freely, we left some records in human waters. Oh, he must be talking about the Sea People Record Chamber. There should be a stone slate in one of those places for certain. Please do help me out, human. Is that a guy? Well, it looks like a girl. Um, it was a song for the wedding, right? I guess I'll go to the Sea People Record Chamber first. All right, I'll try and bring back the slop. Would you do that for me? I'm truly grateful, human. May the blessing of King Long go with you. Records of the song should be in the Sea People Record Chamber. Please help us, human. May King Long protect you. That seems like something they should be able to do. Like, they would know better how to get to the record chamber than me. I did not. I learned a lot too, but I didn't anticipate doing so. <laughs> what do I do? Mm, kids, what's going on? This has been an interesting evening, right? Well, we were playing ball outside the village when a Megamouth shark suddenly appeared. It swallowed our ball, Sniff. Megamouth, you mean the huge... Yes. Can you go get it back for us, human? Um, it looked really scary. Sniff. Uh, uh, alright. I'll get it back for you. Wow, thank you so much, human. It's so hard to refuse children. Can we just get them another ball? Please find the ball the Megamouth shark swallowed, human. So I think the I think there was a seahorse in the casino. No, now the blacksmith has a mission. Cough, cough. Um, are you not feeling well? Human, none of your business, cough. Um, you look very ill. Should I bring you something like coral porridge? Coral porridge? How can a human make sea people food? Ramo had asked me to bring this before. Lies. Humans can't be trusted. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's needed, so I'll ask Boncho to make it. The ingredients were feather coral and lily coral, right? Nothing to worry about. Hmm. I really need to get the coral porridge quickly. They developed hufu, which is human-flavored tofu, to give out give to the cannibals. It's a joke, but somebody, someone tried to make it. What? <laughs> oh boy. Arg, not again. Darn it. Why are you so angry? Do not the pile of whale poop must have tricked me. My beluga whistle. I lost my precious whistle to him. Mm. Beluga whistle? Yes, the whistle that summons beluga anywhere in the village. I knew I shouldn't have bet that whistle in the game. The heartless swindler tricked me. Human, can you bring it back for me? Uh, me? Yes, I have nothing left to bet in the card game. I am broke. Uh, I am not good at cards. Mm. I'll play a couple of games for fun. Okay, let's go find the last seahorse. Golly, right?
I'm not saying that that was the right thing to think of something like human flavored tofu, but you know, that's that's something that other animals don't think of. Oh, I think I already got one in here. And then, I mean, other animals, I mean, at least, I guess I can't say for sure, because I'm not other animals, but, I mean, I don't think they have these, like, higher, like, levels of thinking and learning on, and philo philosophical debates of right and wrong, like, because animals are just doing things their instincts tell them to do, they're not... Like Cole said, it's it's like animal behavior, like good and bad. Is, those are human attributes. But then I guess, then again, I guess the question is, if we think about good and bad, does that make us higher beings? I don't know. I mean, I, I've never, I've never seen a dolphin, you know, I've never seen a dolphin operate a controller to play Dave the Diver, you know. The dolphins were smarter than me. How could you tell that, though? I bet they could, though, if they had thumbs. They can do some crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, when I saw the dolphins at um, in Hawaii at my hotel, I was like, oh, there's, there's a seahorse. I was asking that dolphin trainer like all these questions because I was like so I was like so surprised that they would keep coming back because they they open like there were dolphins at my hotel in like this little lagoon but the dolphin trainers they had this gate that they could open and the dolphins could leave and like never come back like the the gate went out into the ocean and they never came, they could just have never come back. And I was like, I asked the, the one of the dolphin trainers. I was like, what? Like, they keep coming back, and you like you know these are the same dolphins. And she's like, yeah, they have different markings. Just like a you know like a dog has different markings. <laughs> well, well, you brought back all the seahorses. They were quite difficult to find. <laughs> hey, we can res now resume our seahorse races. And then I also was asking a lot of stuff because um, they they were like having the dolphins do tricks and stuff. And I was like, how can they? I was like, how do you teach them how to do this? And she was like, oh, it's just like teaching a dog. Like you show them what you want them to do. And then once they do what you want them to do, then you reward them with food or toys or play or like whatever they want, affection. Like they're very affectionate with humans. And I was like, what the how? Like, cause they're not domesticated. And she was like, they're just amazing animals. I'll give you a seahorse as thanks for your help. Wow, where can I get one? Go speak to Yami, who you can find in front of the racehorse. Hope to see you around in the game parlor, human. Because like it's it's very easy for us to train dogs because they want to make us happy. But dolphins aren't domesticated. They were not bred to make us happy. Oh my, you're the human. I'm Yami. I'm in charge of the seahorse race course. Hehehe. <laughs> Sai, I heard you caught all the seahorses that ran off. Thank you so much for that. I heard from Linton already. We'll give you a nice so strong seahorse as a gift for your efforts. Dayakar Seahorse. Wow, I've seen many seahorses like this elsewhere as well. Can they also race here? Of course, bring them to me and I'll register them for races. Since you're here, why don't you try registering your new seahorse? Select the register menu. Hehe, <laughs> this is where you can register seahorses you've caught for the races. Why don't you try it out right now? Oh, okay. Good, ne next select the race menu to get ready to race. Okay. 
This is where you can select the course and begin a race. Since you're new to this, I suggest, suggest selecting course C for starters. This is where you can see the participants and check who you're up against. Hehe. <laughs> now then, shall we select a seahorse for the race? Well, I only got the one. This is where you can select one of the seahorses you've registered. Oh, the seahorse's stamina is really important. Always make sure to check the arrow on the right. Once seahorses race, they need rest to recover their stamina. You should have several seahorses ready for the race. Let's go with this one for now. Looks like you're all set. Let's get started. Ready. Here to increase seahorse's speed and win the race. If your gauge goes past the green, you're sl you slow down, so be careful. There are different grades and types of races. Hurdle and combined races offer greater prizes. Seahorse is not doing so well. Uh, what? I don't understand how. Oh. What? I don't understand. Okay, I don't get how to do this. Okay, so you have to press L. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to try that again. I'm one of the bigger seahorses though. Their eyes like backflips. Oh dear, I must not have provided an adequate explanation. Don't worry, everyone starts off like this. <laughs> Rank out. Yeah, I don't get... I don't get... I don't get this. Let's try again. So I think I have to press... I have to press L. What? No, I still don't get this. Okay, so to cheer, when they say cheer them on, that makes them go, I guess. I don't get it. Okay, well, it's tired, so I'm- um, but we can try again later. Oh, you're back, human. Get ready for some exciting seahorse racing. Beluga whistle? Haha, <laughs> the one the foul-tongued lady gave, gave to you? She lost five times straight and went all in. She bet the whistle in the last game. She looked like she needed it. Could you give it back to her? Hee <laughs> hee, not for free. Play cards with me and win, then I will give it back to the woman. Quite an annoying dude. Well, if you say so, if I win, you give the whistle back to her. Sure, sure, let's play the game. You need to bet some money. Card matching. Flip cards to pair up the matching ones. Whoever pairs up the most matching cards wins. I mean, it sounds like she lost it fair and square. Unless he's cheating. Oh, it was that one? Mm.
but he had the first three guesses right, like, on the first try. Hee <laughs> <laughs> you're having a wild dream. I'm good anytime, just bring your purse. Shamu twice at SeaWorld? Nice! Uh, the other one was the shell. one was the crab. Yeah. Okay, this game is taking a lot longer than the last one. I think he was cheating in the last one. And that means this one is the star starfish. Okay, but no matter what, I would have won. We also kissed all tongue. <laughs> oh, did you? Ha, ah, I can't believe it. I was beaten by a human? This hurts my pride. Well, a promise is a promise. Take this, it's the beluga whistle. Give that to that lady over there. Oh, I am impressed, human. Haha, yeah. -ha, this is it. The beluga whistle. Well done. Hmm, but... But what? Yeah. You need Bay to summon and ride the beluga. I went bankrupt playing games with that dude. Here, hey, you can have this whistle. What? But I don't even know how to use it. Haha, -ha, it's easy. You just blow this whistle anywhere in the village to call the beluga. So you will need to pay some Bay to ride the beluga. Well, I'm sure with your skills, you can easily make money from the, the casino, no doubt. Hmm, I should summon the beluga when I have to cover a large distance. Summon a beluga using down. You can move faster than normal riding the beluga. Of course, it is not free. I think I just need to do like one or more of these because I only need 75 credit. Um. I'm thinking maybe going to the record chamber will be the easiest one. I mean, unless 
Unless these are only worth like five credits each. I mean, it would be nice if I didn't have to do all of them. That would take forever. You want to ride the beluga. Four bay to ride the beluga? Okay, that's not bad. I don't need to ride it, though. I guess that's all I would spend money on the here, unless the blacksmith has anything, but I don't think so. I think you only get your weapons through Duff. Okay, and then... Okay, so the catching the Cleone... I mean, I don't even know what that looks looks like. I guess it's a a little version of what that uh that girl had. Oh wait, I don't want the neck gun. I can and I can also catch seahorses. But if the Cleo Cleone are so small, I mean honestly, I don't even they might be near the surface. I don't know, because if they're... I, I haven't seen anything that looked like her little plushy, but maybe they're so tiny that I don't even really un know if I've seen a Cleone before. Like, I can't even tell what they look like. Oh, that looks like the one that swallowed the ball. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we could do this one. Put the drone on it. Get the most meat. Alright, well, that's one mission done. I guess I could go to the... I could try to go to the chamber, too. I forgot where it is, but it's not this deep. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's this deep. Jellyfish fragment? Maybe it's left over from what the seaweed collectors turtle ate. Let's follow it. Chamber Nautilus. Crown seahorse. Okay, so it'll just tell me. And they're 
highlighted with a blue diamond, so that makes it easier. Didn't get to ride, though. Only for professionals, I guess. What? Are they actually ridden? Okay, now I'm not sure if it was this... I don't know if it was this high, though. The um, chamber. Samu, my lady. Right. Do people actually ride Shamu? I think this is the chamber. Mm. Wait, why are there so many fish? This appears to be the slab. I should take it to the shrine in the Sea People village. A stone slab with a Sea People wedding song on it. How do they read this? Wedding song stone slab. What, what do you mean, how do they read this? It's their language. Since I'm all the way up here, I don't know that I want to go all the way back down to the village. I'll probably just return to the boat. No, another skull? I need a leg bone. I don't know how... Is it just like random when you find one of those skulls? So I've gotten a skull. And I don't remember. I had some other bone from one of those skeletons, but I also need a leg bone. But I haven't been able to get one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna return to the boat. I'm not sure if this was the afternoon or morning dive. Pillow wear is much sweeter than most people realize. Really? I thought they were also really aggressive. Maybe not the ones in captivity, but the ones in the wild, I think 
they're also so supposed to be very aggressive. I mean, aren't they called killer whales for a reason? They will be carrying racing seahorses in the inventory. Visit Sea People Village and register them for a race. <laughs> okay, so that was the morning dive. seahorse. This seahorse seems to be wearing a crown on its head. It is small, 6 to 10.5 centimeters, and is seldom breeds, and not much information is available yet. Cleone, a mollusk with a transparent cylindrical body, wing-like appendages, and a horned head. About 10 centimeters long, it is found at 200 m in the Arctic and Northern Pacific Oceans and feeds on phytoplankton and small sea animals. Gardening and things. A foot bone and a skull is what I've gotten already. I need a leg bone. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the village because we've got some quests we can finish up. Like Sasquatch? What? Well, I'll look it up, but I think, for, I mean, I haven't looked up anything about killer whales in a long time, but I think what I heard is that they're like actually very aggressive. Okay, so first I need to go to that altar shrine thing. I don't know. What's the difference between an altar and a shrine? So I gotta give the wedding song. And then I have to- I got the ball to give back to the kids. I mean, I can't imagine that wouldn't be enough. Unless they're only worth like five credits each. My goodness, human, this is the one. Thanks to you, we'll be able to have the wedding without any hiccups. Human, or rather Dave, was it? I think if you participated, you could become better acquainted with the villagers. Um, a sea people wedding, huh? That sounds interesting. Oh, we're having it now? Here we are, Dave. Cuddle unless threatened. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess most animals are. Here we are, Dave. Wow, it feels different than a human wedding. Haha, <laughs> is that so? You can stay in the back. It'll begin soon. Oh no, another earthquake. King Long's arm. So now you have another quest? Oh dear, King Long. This is terrible. It's actually a very old statue. We don't have the tools in this village to patch it up. Oh dear, this is not good. Is it an omen of impending disaster, perhaps? Hey now, calm down a bit. Maybe Cobra will have something? I'll try and see if there's anything we can use on the surface. Just wait for a bit. Oh, Dave, please do bring back something. King Long, we need your protection. Oh no, King Long's statue is broken. This is all my fault. I failed to maintain it properly. Oh, human, please find a way. What? How did they build this then? But they don't have the tools to repair it? <laughs> wow, it's the ball. You really brought it back for us. Phew, it was real scary. You kids stay inside the village from now on, okay? Okay. I guess humans aren't all bad unless- unlike what we were told. Hope to see you again, human. Oh, 
All right, now I have enough credits. I don't, I mean, do, I don't know if all these quests are going to stay. I think I've go, grown quite close with the villagers now. Let's go back to Denzin. Okay, well, we might as well. We'll probably just do this and then we're gonna end it pretty soon. I also talked to trees. <laughs> what? Why? Hey now, don't go poking about in the village too much. You might trip on seaweed with those silly legs of yours. Dear me, the tremors are getting worse. Human, hurry up and help the villagers to gain their trust. It seems the villagers seem to trust you quite a lot. I'd first like to thank you for everything you've done for our village. It seems everyone's friendlier than I thought. I don't trust you fully just yet, but we could use all the help we could get right now. Let me explain to you about this village a bit. Did you see the tree at the center of the village? Yes, it was huge and covered in ice. Yes, we call it the divine tree. We use the fruit of this tree as an energy source. The tree has its roots far below the bottom, using the ge geothermal heat to create energy. Because the fruits are created from this energy, there's a giant glacier under this tree that is under our village. A glacier on the sea bottom. I've never heard of such a thing. But as of late, the heat coming from deep in the earth has grown hotter, melting the ice slowly. As the temperature of the tree increases, more and more villagers are falling ill. We keep praying to King Long, but we know things aren't so simple as that. We need to check on the glacier below the surface. Because we relied on only agriculture for so long, we don't have the equipment or the technology to explore down there, embarrassing as it is. That's why I told you we need the human's help. I must admit that I must admit that is now our only option, my daughter. In any case, I know it's a difficult task, but will you check out the glacial area before the below the village for us? Sai, that sounds very dangerous, but all right. There have been more tremors on the surface as well. I think this all might be connected somehow. Thank you. We'll be sure to recompense you somehow. Now then, you'll need the key down to the glacial passage. The key. Where's the key? Tenzin, when we sealed the glacial passage, we put the key inside the abandoned cave, remember? Oh dear, you're right. I sense something is not right again. Human, please go and get the key to the glacial passage from the abandoned cave. Su Suam will take you there. It's not dangerous, is it? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nothing has happened there for the last century. No one's ventured there in a hundred years. Anyways, we need to find out what's going on in the glacier zone before it's too late. It's getting late, so come back tomorrow when the sun is up. Suam will guide you on this path. Hmm, I'd like you to venture down to the glacial region now. It's been closed off for a long time, so I'm not sure if it'll be okay. I guess the villagers don't know how terrible humans can be. Remember that I'm always watching you, human. Best be on your best behavior. Hmm, looks like you made yourself quite well known in the village. Even so, don't go about doing your own thing. Help the villagers. Uh, I helped them a lot. The Aspen are very opinionated, though, is that right? Okay, so, well, he, he said to come back tomorrow, so I can't do this right now anyway. So I'm going to go back to the boat. We didn't get any f fish or anything in this dive, but that's okay, because I think we have an abundance of things. I'm going to check on the fish farm and the regular oh. farm. Hmm, a stone adhesive for use underwater? Let's see. Oh good, it was in the corner here. Ha ha ha. This, this should do. I should go back to the Sea People Village. I'll go back to the Sea People Village and attach the arm of King Long's statue. So if you do these quests... I mean, if you do these quests after... You know, you talk to Tenzin after you've earned enough credits. I wonder if they give you anything. Go to the farm first. They talk very slow, MC. Oh, yeah. And do the other trees talk faster? I'll grow the rice. Just kill off the insects every now and then. That's when I took a harpoon to in the knee. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's right. He's the one that said that.
Okay. So if it's if the nutrients are at 95%, then how come I can't do anything? Alright, I guess I'll come back. Check the fish fish farm. I should take the adhesive from Cobra and go back to Niamo in front of the King Long statue. Okay, I think we're going to run the sushi farm, or the sushi restaurant, not the sushi farm. Basically is a sushi farm, though. And what is it going to take to unlock the next skills. I guess I have to go to level 7. Serving ability increases permanently. Let's train him on that. You can sell beverages at a higher price. Oh, that might be worth it. Yeah, let's invest in that. It's gonna be a long-term investment. Master drink maker learned. Okay, so I think we're gonna do the restaurant. And we'll end stream after that. Did I run out of mar- oh, no, I didn't. I still have a ton of marlin- marlin meat that I caught for the marlin party. But I really didn't even sell that much from before the marlin party. syrup, however. Definitely cannot move as fast as the other two. But we got everybody covered.
Phew, I should call it a day. It's a long road becoming a great master. Oh, this is new. What is happening here? The live stage begins in Duff's dream. When the high icon reaches the cursor, press LT RT. Use LR to move your hand up and down and hit the green note. When an orange note appears, shake LR left and right for a loud applause. Now it's time for some cheering. What? This is so random. Many games do kind of break up the tedium of the dive, do restaurant, dive, do restaurant. It's just so random though that you go into dust stream. Did you play enough? Yes. mobile game called Leah's Run is now available. You can play the game from your phone's game factory. Oh, what's the first mobile game that I got? Sweet, yeah. That was a fun little game. Oh, we're already at chapter four. By the way, Tenzin asked me to bring him the Glacier Passage key. We must return to the Elder's Place in the Sea People Village. Get as many gems possible without getting caught by fans. Okay, we're gonna try this. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, you gotta double jump. Oh, kind of creepy that you have a fan chasing you. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna save. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. So tomorrow mm, I won't be on, but I'm recording a new podcast episode. So check that out. That'll be released on Tuesday morning. But I will be back with more Dave the Diver on Tuesday night. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here and hanging out tonight. I will see you on Tuesday night. If you're free, come and hang out and please check out the podcast. Um, as long as I'm still recording it tomorrow. I mean, I think I'm still on to record it tomorrow night. So as long as that's still on, it will be released on Tuesday morning. And I'm going to be talking to a friend about Kick, Kick.com, the new streaming platform. Um, he goes and streams on there and, you know, I'm pretty curious to find out more about it. So I'll be interviewing him about it. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you in the next one. Bye.